Hi everybody, today's read aloud is called Mr. Seahorse and it's by Eric Carl. Look at all the seahorses swimming in the ocean. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this way and that. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help? asked Mr. Seahorse. Oh, yes, thank you, said Mrs. Seahorse, and she laid her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take good care of our eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. And look here, she's putting the eggs into Mr. Seahorse's pouch. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by... A group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of reeds. Oh, let's see that again. So here, this page is covering it. They're camouflaged. I can barely see them. Can you see them? But when we flip this over, there they are, the trumpet fish. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? Asked Mr. Seahorse. Delighted, replied Mr. Stickleback. I just built a nest, and right away, Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs into it. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. Keep up the good work, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. Well, Mr. Stickleback is in charge of watching the eggs, too. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by... What could be behind this page? What do you think? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to turn the page. Let's see. It's called a lionfish. A lionfish was hidden behind a coral reef. Here, let's look at that again. It's camouflaged just like the trumpet fish. And when I turn the page, there's the lionfish. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Tilapia? asked Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Tilapia couldn't answer. His mouth was full of eggs. Do you see all the eggs here? I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Tilapia laid her eggs. Now you're taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapia nodded his head. Oh, you must be very happy, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by... Let's see what's behind this page. I'm not sure. Do you want to guess? All right, I'm going to turn the page and let's see if your guess or your prediction was right. A pair of leaf fish hidden among the seaweed. Let's look at it again. Now you might be able to see them a little bit better. And there they are, camouflaged, just like the other fish that were hiding. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Curtis, asked Mr. Seahorse. Perfectly fine, replied Mr. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis laid her eggs and I have stuck them on my head. Look at that, this fish carries the eggs on his head. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. You are doing a good job, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. And look, Mr. Seahorse is upside down. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by what could be behind this big rock. Hmm. I see something poking out though. What do you think it could be? A stonefish hidden behind a rock. What a great hiding place for a stonefish behind a rock, huh? And there it is. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Pipe? asked Mr. Seahorse. Couldn't be better, replied Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe laid her eggs along my belly. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You should feel proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. And look, here are all the eggs that Mr. Pipe is carrying. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Bullhead? asked Mr. Seahorse. Tip top, replied Mr. Bullhead. Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs and the eggs hatched. Now I'm babysitting. 
You are doing a fine job, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. All these fish hatched out of their eggs, and now they're swimming along with the daddy fish. The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that. At last, the babies tumbled from Mr. Seahorse's pouch and swam away. One baby turned around and tried to come back into the pouch. Oh no, said Mr. Seahorse. I do love you, but now you're ready to be on your own. The end. And that was called Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carle. I hope you enjoyed the book, friends. Bye.